If not for them, we wouldn't have us, the U.S. So we need to remember the brave who have secured our freedoms. And those of the greatest generation are now well into their 90s. Bob Weinberg of Flag City Honor Flight wants to make sure those vets get to see the monuments in Washington, D.C. built in their honor. Good morning. Thanks for joining us today, Bob. Good morning. Thanks for having me. So exciting news. You guys have added a third flight this year. We have. Uh, we're trying to play a little catch up. We have been grounded for the last two years because of COVID. Uh, we decided to add another flight this year. So we're flying in uh, June, June 7th, September 13th. And our third flight this year will be November 1st. So yes, two years of not being able to take these uh, rather important flights. So uh, talk us through uh, who is invited and why they're so important. Well, we start obviously with World War II, and as you just mentioned, those guys are, are up there in age, and obviously we, we've lost a few in the last two years yeah. because of the So we take World War II, uh, try to get as many as we can on first, and then uh, Korea, and then Vietnam. And they get, it's a full day, so, and they get the star treatment, and it begins here in Toledo in the morning. Yes, it starts early. We start out here in Finley at 4 a.m. Uh, we're up at Toledo uh, at the Express Airport there at Grand Air, and we have our gathering there in the morning and a breakfast. Uh, that starts at 5.30 in the morning, wheels up at 8. Uh, we get uh, the World War II Korea and, and Vietnam memorials are our first stop. We go across the uh, Potomac to Arlington National Cemetery and see the changing of the guard there. The Marine Memorial, the Air Force Memorial, uh, back on an aircraft and fly back to Toledo all in one day. So <laughs> we'll fly back into Toledo probably around 9.30 in the evening and uh, do our welcome home and get mailbags to the veterans and then get them, get them safely home. And they'll sleep for, you know, a few days probably. <laughs> it's, a, it's a long trip, but, uh, but well worth it. Uh, describe oh. what it's like to see these veterans look at these monuments and memorials. I tell, I tell everyone it's a life-changing event. It is for us, uh, for the crew, the Honor Flight, Flight City Honor Flight people that, that go on occasion or go every flight. It's always new and it's always rewarding. It's life-changing for the veteran. It's life-changing for the guardian. In a lot of cases, that guardian is a, a family member. And they come back and tell us that, uh, you know, that it really opened our world, our grandpa's world or grandma's world up to what they did in the service. We, did, we didn't know, they didn't talk about it. And Honor Flight uh, opens that window or that door and, uh, and they learn more about the experiences that their, their parents and grandparents went through. Yeah, and it's so important to take this opportunity. I know my grandfather was a World War II veteran, and he, like you said, he didn't talk about it. And I wish so much that I had asked more questions or uh, that maybe we would have taken a trip like this. So uh, if there's family out there and they, they have those uh, vets in their lives, how do they, how do they get in touch with you uh, to get them signed up? Well, the best way is to go to our website. It's Flag City honorflight.org it has a, a wealth of information it has the uh, applications for the veteran and for the guardian and for volunteers we're always looking for people to help and is there anything any requirements i know as you said that the flights have been grounded for a couple of years because of covid so what sorts of precautions uh, will you have in place to to protect their health well right now that's uh, that's interesting that's a day-by-day -day thing for us as mm -hmm. far as the COVID protocol. Um, two years ago and la last year, when we were trying to fly last year, we were talking that uh, shots would, uh, vaccines would be required. Uh, right now, uh, there are mask mandates as far as the federal government is concerned. We would have to wear a mask on the aircraft and also on the transit buses while we're going from memorial to memorial. Mm -hmm. uh, but. But right now, I don't think that COVID is going to keep us grounded. Uh, we know enough and we know the protocols and uh, whatever the federal government says we need to do, uh, that's what we'll do. Fabulous. And as you mentioned, uh, those things are changing. And of course, you'll keep everybody up to speed on that. But you can apply right now. You see the web address there on your screen. Make plans for one of those flights coming up here. Uh, Bob, we're so happy that you're going to be wheels up again because it, it has been too long. We are really excited. Very good, Bob. Thank you so much for joining us this morning.